Hi, this is Nick Man 500 and I'm sure you saw me on Arduin 18's channel before with the long shot review and we pretty much sucked. So yeah, this is my new channel. Um, this mod is dedicated to Arduin 18 because he found it at Finder, it's his. He found it in the drawer, I don't know why. But you see yeah. First things first, unscrew everything and unscrew this cap. So yeah, I'm sure you know that. And then open the gun up. Be careful. So this is what the internal should look like, the barrel and the plunger. Now make sure you do not lose this spring. This spring is so freaking important. Yeah. So first off, make sure you hold that part down and then unscrew it. Now I'm sure you're not going to do it like this. I'm just showing you guys how to do it. So unscrew this screw. Okay. And unscrew this screw. You want to lift your barrel up gently. So yeah, spring again. Do not leave that. Now there's the plunger and everything. So what you want to do is hold on to this and open the barrel up like that. And you'll find um, a spring and this little cap thingy. You want to trash these things because these are the air restrictors. And this is the part where the dart goes in. You want to take this thing off because this thing blocks airflow. And you also want to like cut this thing out, but I don't have anything to cut it with. And you might also want to like dremble this out, like drill it. And this one can be drilled too. So the way to put it back together is this cap goes first where the dart goes. Line it up next to the barrel. You can put that anyway. Just make sure you put it right. And yeah, these are trashed. Okay. And then you put the plunger back in. And then make sure, this is the hard part. Now I'm just going to tell you guys how to do it. First, you want to put that spring piece in first above the trigger so everything will be in place. And then you push this thing in so it's the cap, the tail thin thingy is inside the screw places. And just like this, so you put it back in and make sure this thing is straight as possible. And then, yeah, just like I said, first put this thing in. And then, next up, you just want to screw it back in. And then these things you can take out if you want to, but uh, I'm not going to because it's too complicated right now. You can take it out and like glue it to the sides. I'll show you where you can do it. And then what you do next is put the shell, the other half of the shell on, like that. Just put it on. And then you really don't have to like put all the screws in. Really all you have to do is put one screw here front there. Tightly. One screw here. much where you should just all screw it. You don't have to screw it anywhere else. But I'm just gonna you can but I'm not going to because it's already tight enough. So this should increase your knife finder's range. 
by about five or six feet. And what you what you can also do is you can like attach rubber bands, like put it here and to here, so it, it'll pull this thing in. So before it would like go in really slowly, but now it goes in really fast. And then yeah, so that's pretty much it. And then also the dart holders, you can like glue it right here and here, or you can like glue it on the side. So yeah. Oh yeah, one more thing. Um, I'm sure most of you saw Un 13's bit about the Nightfinder Manta, and I made my own. It looks like this. You know, it's not really that. It's not that good or like good because I didn't use hot glue. I used duct tape instead. And really, what you have to do is take two Nightfinders and about cut it right there, right there, both, and you just tape them together. And I'll make a bit on how to make that. So both of these are modded. Actually, all the air strippers are out, extra springs. So yeah. Um, I'll be making a video on this soon. See ya.